Alrighty, three days until opening absolutely going crazy couldn't be more excited and in today's video i'm going to talk about three roller coasters that will never happen at canada's wonderland and i'm going to start it off with rmc wild beast um many people are probably going to look at that and be like wait what isn't that super likely isn't that something that's totally going to happen and unfortunately the main reason as to why this will never happen is it was confirmed at an ace event in 2019 by the planning of construction and maintenance, the, the Peter, that uh, Canada's Wonderland would never convert one of their wooden coasters into an RMC. And if the park were planning on building an RMC, it would be completely ground up from scratch. So that was definitely some interesting bit of information. And uh, it definitely makes me a little happy because for some, a park like Canada's Wonderland, converting Wild Beast would have been a little smaller scale. I know there's like creations online that, you know, go into the go-karts and all that. But typically when RMC does convert, it is more so just on the current structure. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm definitely a little happy about that. I'd rather see Wild Beast get completely removed and make way for a new coaster. Um, and I just, uh, yeah. I know I was team Mindbuster in the past for a conversion as well, but I do think Mindbuster's time at the park is is limited as Splashworks is going to need some expansion space. But yeah, unfortunately, it is very much so confirmed that RMC Wild Beast should never happen. We shouldn't ever say it will never happen as things can obviously change with time and things like COVID can also change things as well. But yes, um, at the current moment, an RMC Wild Beast is very unlikely and an RMC Mindbuster is very unlikely as well. You're going to have to look for a ground up at best, like which in my opinion is the better of the three. What is another ride that will never happen at Canada's Wonderland? Well, that's definitely those intimate launch coasters that everyone loves and knows about. A lot of Canadians know about these launch coasters because of Discovery Channel and growing up as a kid, we got to see some of these. So this is something that I actually disagree with wholeheartedly. I think that Cedar Fair would be extremely intelligent to build one at Canada's Wonderland. Not even one taller than King Ka. Something like Red Force at Canada's Wonderland would do phenomenal. It's absolutely insane how well this coaster would do at Canada's Wonderland if it was built. But the chances of it are very very slim the partner their partnership i guess we'll call it that wrong wording but partnership with intamin is pretty much non-existent now due to multiple incidents with intamin designing rides that needed to be altered changed or had incidents like shoot the rapids so working with intamin is extremely unlikely in itself and then this ride happens to be very unreliable and requires a lot of maintenance so that itself what makes it extremely unlikely again i really wish red force type clone at Kenda's Wonderland, but it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. What's the third most likely ride that's never gonna happen? An RMC single rail. So currently it looks like the, why am I forgetting what it was called? <laughs> The dual, dual version, the one can, that can seat two people next to each other. Oh my god, I'm going to get dragged in the comments for this one. I completely forgot what it's called. But yes, the single rails are extremely unlikely to be coming to Canada's Wonderland due to capacity reasons and reliability. We've seen a lot of problems with them, especially over at CGA um, and Fiesta Texas. And it does have a bit of downtime at Six Flags Great Adventure as well. In fact, I'm hearing some days it shut down a lot uh, for a large portion of the day so definitely don't see it canada's wonderland is one of those parks that does pick reliability looking at you wonder mountains guardian because you're the odd one out right now but yes canada's one does have a habit of picking reliability so these three coasters um but rmc and intamin definitely very unlikely for canada's wonderland to work with those two companies and these three especially especially the single rail capacity wise and uh just reliability Whew, I want to hear from you guys down in the comment. What's a ride or roller coaster or manufacturer that you think Canada's Wonderland will never work with or that you'll never see at Canada's Wonderland? Because there's more than just these three, but because it's three days left until opening, I decided to only focus on three rides. I could literally go on forever and ever. Maybe this is a video that I'll make uh, after opening a little more in depth. But yes, 
Do you agree with my list? Are there other rides and manufacturers that you think are more unlikely than the three I put on here? Definitely comment down below and I'll try and respond to as many as possible. I still have to go back and respond to the video uh, comments for yesterday's video. I've been all over the place. I've started exercising because, hey, new me after quarantine, I'm feeling so much better. So super excited about that. And yeah, I can't wait to get back in the park, guys. Three days, three days. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my video and supporting the channel. Um, head on over to our Discord server. It's like a forum and a voice chat, and it's just super. I'm always in there. So if you're ever wanting to get a hold of me, um, join me in there. Uh, there are days where I definitely don't like answering questions all day. So, you know, um, if you have a question, put it in a, a VCT or like uh, one of the forum chats, and I will try and get to it uh, to the best of my ability. But join us in Discord. Link down below. Thanks so much for watching the video. Have a good one. Bye.